Okay, we're going to divide this lesson into two segments. Uh, the first segment, we're just working with basically double stops. And then we're going to, the second segment, we're going to open up with the chords. Okay, so as far as double stops are concerned, we're playing in the key of F. Okay, and we're working around the G and D string together. Okay, so I'm using my index finger and my pinky finger. Uh, index is on the D string, third fret and the pinky finger is on the 5th fret G string. Okay, and I'm using a flat pick here, and I'm playing all down strokes for this uh, first part too. So, what we're going to look at here is the chord shapes R, from here, which is an F, to this F suspended, and then we're going to get this uh, F shape here too. So we're working around these. Okay, so the first part. Okay, so we go in. I guess the the F on the D string is going to continue to stay there. We're just working with the G string here. Okay, so we're going to go from... Can you see the movement there from the second fret to the third fret on the G string? Okay, and I'm also muting with my right hand as well, just to throw that in there. There's my open G. And as you can see, I'm kind of kind of like playing rhythmically and percussively as I'm coming down on those beats as well. That last note as well is just a single F on the D string. Okay, so that's the first segment. And then we're going to get into our actual open chords. So we've got a B flat major that we're playing here. And that's basically played with the bar chord on the sixth fret, the pinky finger on the uh, eighth fret A string. And then I got my middle finger on the seventh fret D string and my ring finger on the uh, seventh fret G string. Okay, so we're gonna go from here to a G minor 7. Then I'm going to play a D minor in this style. Okay, that's a D minor 7. So I've got my index finger on the 5th fret, A string, pinky finger, 7th fret, D string. Then I've got my middle finger on the 5th fret, G string. And then I have um, my uh, ring finger on the 6th fret, B string. Okay, a lot of people would play it like this, but for some reason, I'm playing it like this right now. Okay, I think it's because I, I like to make sure I'm muting the high E string there. That's what that kind of shape, in my mind, kind of allows me to do. So, yeah, we go from there and then to a C chord here. Okay, which is basically being barred by my my pinky finger and the root note is being picked up by my index finger on the 5th fret A string. Okay, uh, you can also play it like this if you want to, but uh, right now I'm playing it in its uh, A shape bar kind of position. And then I come into a A minor 7th shape, which is the same shape as uh, G minor 7 there. Okay, so let's talk about the rhythmic pattern that I'm playing with my right hand here. I'm working between, I would say, down up strokes and, and muted hits as well. Okay, so for the first chord, which is the, the B flat major 7, I'm going down and up. So, okay, so there's my down and there's my up. 
okay? Then I come down to G minus 7, which um, is going to be an up, up, down, up, up, down. Um, so that down beat, by the way, is going to be muted. So here we go. And then it repeats then. I get to the D minor 7. Then C. So the C and the A minor 7 is divided. So... So as you can see, there's a contrast between the two sections here. The first is just more like um, rock picking, you know, those downstrokes. And then when we get to this chorus section, we're opening it up with more core, like more of a chordal, uh, bigger sound. So like everything's more open and, uh, and there's just more of a dynamic going as well with the, the rhythmic hits. So we're like... as opposed to okay so just something to bear in mind something to feel when you're doing this and yeah have fun with that